Hello everybody, my name is Evro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get custom skins on Minecraft Education Edition. Now, um, I already recorded this video once only to find out that my microphone didn't work, um, so I had to unplug it and then plug it back in, so I've already done all the work, but I'm just going to tell you guys like how to do it for yourselves. Um, so basically it consists, uh, like the way you do it is you use skin packs because um, normally in um, as you can see I have my little dude right there normally you wouldn't be able to like import a custom skin in bed in bedrock edition it would usually be like there would be three um, and one of them would be custom skin um, but th the reason is only because I've worn it recently um, and so yeah this basically um since Minecraft Education Edition runs on the Bedrock engine it can import um uh skin packs and like texture packs and add-ons and whatnot um that you can also um that you can put in from um like Bedrock Edition so they uh, you can put them in, into here as well which is how we get the custom skins um so uh basically the um, like the way you want to do this is um, so you'll want to go to a texture pack website um, where you can also buy uh, Minecraft uh, Bedrock or Pocket Edition skin packs and then uh, so I'll, I'll go to one of those right now so once you go to like a skin pack website I suggest um, MCPEDL um, what you want to do is find just any little any skin pack uh, I just chose this one randomly and then you'll want to go down um, to the download.mc pack so this is the correct place that you'll want to go to. Uh, once you're there, you click uh, download, and then you want to close out a pop-up if it comes up. Um, and then you should see um, your .mc pack over here. Um, what you want to do then is open up your file explorer. Um, let's see. File explorer. Do I have that on OBS? Um, so once you're at your file explorer, um, you will um, want to go into wherever you found your. Actually, hmm, uh, I'll uh, I'll just get this set back of how it was. Um, so okay, so you should see a .mc pack over here, um, and. Uh, um, we can just, uh, we don't have to worry about that. We'll get to that in a second. Then what you'll want to do from this one is make sure that in view you have file name extensions turned on. Um, so that, um, so that, uh, you can rename it and turn it into a .zip file. Then, um, what you want to do is click on this, then right click on it and go down and click rename. And then, hang on, a rename. Um, and then you'll want to change this to dot, change the MC pack to zip. So that it's uh, 3.0 dot zip or whatever your, yours was. Um, and then it'll show you if you blah, blah, blah. You, you want to click yes. Then what you want to do is go into this one and click extract all. And then if you, um, once that's done, you, you should see this, um, this, uh, th this uh, folder pop up right here. Then you want to go into that. It might be a double folder. And then uh, you, what you want to do is basically um, import your skin into here, and then um, replace the name, replace the name of your skin that you have. Um, or hmm, how should I put this? Basically, um, you will like basic. Hmm. Basically, so like, let's say this one. Um, if you import your skin, you want to copy this name, Math Genius 0203, and then um, paste it um, as the name of your skin, so that basically your skin is replacing that skin. It kind of makes sense, but I, 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 I don't know. Um, anyway, um, once you do that, you should have one of your skins in here, and uh, you want to make sure that it is the right file name. Um, once you do that, um, I'll just delete that. What you can do is um, copy or er, drag all of these, or you can click on one and then click on all the way at the end, or shift click. 
so that it selects everything in between. Right click on any of them and click set and go over to send to and then click compressed zipped folder. Um, and then you can rename that to like skin pack skin pack dot uh, zip but you want to change that dot zip to a dot m mc pack and then you click yes and then you should have your skin pack right here so if you uh, double click on that uh, it, it you and then you go over into your minecraft education edition um, you sh it should say like import started but I've already done it before um, and then it should say successfully imported oh there's a wandering trader over there um, and then if you go into your um, your skins and then scroll all the way to the bottom you should see your skin pack and then you are in there at um, in somewhere um, so yeah that's uh, pretty much how you do it um, and now if you, if I click confirm you can see that I now have a custom skin in Minecraft Education Edition. Now let's just hope that they don't patch this because, uh, um, because that would be sad. Um, so yeah, um, uh, now you can get your own skins in Minecraft Education Edition. And if you want to have like a skin pack full of a lot of different skins that you want, uh, then you can totally do that. You can just replace um, a bunch of the um, a bunch of this skins with um, the same te uh, technique that I showed you with replacing the name and stuff and uh, so yeah um, I will be doing a newer version of this video sometime um, soon um, because so that you can actually like change your name correctly and make it so that there's only the correct number or maybe even making your own skin pack uh, all I know how to do is just edit a skin pack so um, once I learn more about like JSON and how resource packs and skin packs work um, I'll make another video um, and call this one outdated um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. Um, if you did, please be sure to give a like. And if you want to see more videos by me, um, make sure to click the subscribe button and the little... Uh, wait, no, you can't click the bell because of COPPA and stuff. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next 